this is a map of the outbreak of SARS in uh, Singapore uh, way back in 2003. And as you can see, um, there are clusters of patients. Each red dot is a SARS patient. And then there are these kind of connectors that sort of link one cluster of patients to another cluster. And those linkers are either patients who were discharged, infected from one facility, and then readmitted to another facility and initiated a second wave of transmission, or health workers who worked in one facility and moonlighted in another facility. So, you know, just it's kind of a small world network of how SARS was transmitted very quickly throughout a health system in a, in a fairly confined area. And I'm only illustrating here how networks, small world networks like this, can so rapidly disseminate anything, whether it's SARS or an idea or a problem, a sexually transmitted disease, whatever. This is one of the most efficient ways of spreading something new. And what we're trying to do here with patient centricity is spread a new idea very, very quickly through very large and complex organizations. And if we tried to get that to everybody, for me, it would be 65,000 people, that would be ridiculous. I would never be able to engage 65,000 people. But if you just went to the people who are the connectors and you brought them in a room, think of all the people you would touch. It's a very efficient way to spread a new idea.